the first teaser for Netflix's You People has been released, and it appears to be a good time. The brief video shows Jonah Hill's character attempting and failing to persuade his girlfriend's parents why he should wed their daughter. Both Hill and Murphy are known for their comedy timing, so we're hoping the film will take on lots of laughs. Join us as we discuss the latest deets about this piece of work. First off, the trailer for Netflix's You People reveals a hilarious family drama. The comedy follows a young couple, Hill and Lauren London, and their families as they deal with modern romance, cultural issues, societal pressures, and generational gaps. All those sound like serious topics, so we can't wait to see the creator's comedic take on it. Kenya Barris, the creators of ABC's Blackish, is making his feature directorial debut with You People, which he also co-wrote with Hill. Barris isn't new to the director's chair as he's worked on three additional Netflix projects, Black AF, Intergalactic, and We Are the People. Hill also appeared in Superbad, Knocked Up, 21 Jump Street, The Wolf of Wall Street, and a few others. Meanwhile, the cast includes Molly Gordon, Sam Jay, Dion Cole, Rhea Perlman, Lala Anthony, Travis Bennett, Andrew Schultz, Jordan Firstman, Emily Arluck, and Anthony Payton. Bears produced the film under his company, Collabo Inc. Society, Hill with his strong baby banner, and Kevin Misher through his company, Misher Films. Director Barris is also recognized for co-creating America's Next Top Model with Tyra Banks, scripting the comedy Girls Trip starring Queen Latifah, and co-writing Tina Gordon's Little and Tim's Story Shaft. Hill recently directed and starred in the Netflix documentary Stutz, which explores the life and work of Hill's pal and therapist, Dr. Phil Stutz, and examines their different routes to mental health. He's preparing to direct Outcome, his third feature film, which will feature Keanu Reeves. Hill also appeared as chief of staff and president's son, Jason Orlean, and Adam McKay's Oscar-nominated black comedy, Don't Look Up. You People will be available on Netflix on January 27th, 2023. What's more, fans are excited to see Jonah and Eddie paired up on screen. Fan reactions to the trailer were mostly positive, and many were excited to see the pairing on screen. Everyone sure has high hopes for the movie. The cast and dialogues have so far been liked by a lot of people. A YouTuber wrote that it's quite genius of the creators to put Murphy in the film. He knows how to make fun of different stereotypes while making people laugh so hard, they wrote. Lots of people think Jonah and Eddie will definitely be hilarious together. They said they never imagined the duo to be cast together, but it's what they deserve to see in a movie. Many said that they'd watch the duo sitting in a restaurant having a conversation for the entire movie. Guess that shows how well these guys know their craft. Many people were also impressed to discover that Hill was behind the writing and that he'll act too, which will make it doubly amazing. There's so much awkward and unnecessary detailed conversation that it's actually quite funny, another person wrote, referring to the scene shown in the teaser. Some Netflix subscribers even said their subscription is worthwhile now after seeing such a trailer for an upcoming movie. One viewer said the film doesn't look overly goofy, but mildly funny, so it looks like the showrunners are going for a subtle comedic tone. The trailer was also deemed to be short and showed exactly what was needed without oversharing the details. While some people were of the view that the film deserved to be in the cinemas, others were glad that they'll get to see it on Netflix. Not to mention, Jonah's character tries to prove that he's not like other white people. Maybe Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles wasn't the ideal place for Jonah's clumsy character, Ezra Cohen, to request his girlfriend's parents for their approval to propose. In the trailer for the Netflix film, the constantly red-faced fiancé-to-be is struggling to prove to the couple that he isn't like most white people. Murphy's character is the father of Hill's fiancé, who snarkily asks him if he always hangs out in the hood or if he just came there for the food and women. Long comments that it's a totally valid question, and Hill concurs, but the interrogation doesn't really end here. Hill fumbles through articulating what parenthood with his partner, Amira Muhammad, might be like in less than a minute, hesitantly suggesting that it would be a very lovely baby and that mixed race folks are really amazing. He uses Mariah Carey, Derek Jeter, and the GOAT, no, not Drake, but Malcolm X to back up his point. Cohen, who was brought up by two liberal Jewish parents, Julia Louis-Dreyfus and David Duchovny in the film, is desperate for the permission of Muhammad's suspicious Muslim parents, whose only reaction to his statement that he truly loves their daughter and would make a nice husband is, ain't this about a b Diner server can't prevent him from impending doom as the two sets of parents press their kids to show that their connection isn't just an incidental meet cute 
caused by a carpool mix-up. Following up, Jonah takes a break from film promotions due to mental health struggles. We've seen Jonah progress from broad comedies such as Superbad and the 21 Jump Street franchise to award-winning performances in movies like The Wolf of Wall Street, Moneyball, and Don't Look Up. The 38-year-old actor has completed directing and starring in Stutz, a documentary he produced undercover recently. The inspiration came from his therapist, and the video includes candid discussions about mental health in general, as well as the gradual deterioration of anxiety episodes associated with film advertising, which has turned Hill's dream career into a nightmare of sorts. So although Stutz got its festival debut in fall, Hill has decided to let the production speak on its own. He stepped off the advertising treadmill and has offered an explanation to Deadline, he also isn't retiring. But he won't be publicizing his current work, which includes the Barris directed Netflix comedy. Jonah shared that the entire goal of making the documentary was to provide treatments and the resources he has learned in therapy to a broad audience for personal use through an enjoyable film. The filmmaker said that through the film's voyage of self-discovery, he realized that he has spent nearly 20 years having severe anxiety, which was aggravated by public appearances and media events. The comedian expressed that he wouldn't be staying true to himself or his work if he made his mental health worsen by stepping out and marketing his films. Hill said that while he normally cringes at statements like these, he recognizes that he's among the fortunate few who are able to take some time off and not lose their job while dealing with mental health issues. Next up, where have we seen the actors in You People cast? While Jonah Hill and Eddie Murphy don't need any introduction, the other cast members are not particularly famous, so here's where you might have seen them before. Murphy and Julia Louis-Dreyfus both appeared on Saturday Night Live in the same show, with Eddie joining in late 1980 under Gene Dominion and Julie along with the autumn of 1982 with Brad Hall and Gary Kroger under Dick Ebersole and Bob Tischler. Doris Anderson, Anthony Anderson's mother, appeared in this film alongside one of her favorite actors, Murphy. Rhea Perlman and Jackie Swanson previously appeared together on the series Cheers. What's more, watch out for other comedies coming to Netflix in 2023. Looks like next year we'll be seeing Murphy a lot more than we expected. The actor is all set to feature in the Beverly Hills Cop Axel Folly, directed by Adil LRB and Bilal Falah. Decades after Eddie initially portrayed Axel Folly, Netflix has rebooted the action comedy series for a fourth installment, and potentially more later. The film begins with the protagonist, Axel Folly, receiving a phone call informing him that his estranged daughter is in trouble. Tom Ellis from Lucifer and Gina Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin will star in the New York City romantic comedy titled Players. It's all about a sports writer named Mac who falls for one of the prospects who was scooped by his successful hookup plays. Robert Rodriguez is coming back to the director's chair for yet another Spy Kids film, which will be released exclusively on Netflix. The film, titled Spy Kids Armageddon, stars Zachary Levi, Billy Magnuson, and Gina Rodriguez in league roles. The kids of the world's top undercover agents unintentionally assist a powerful game developer developer in unleashing a virus that grants him complete control of all technology, causing them to become spies in order to save their family and the planet. If you've grown up watching Jerry Seinfeld's comedy, you don't want to miss this. Seinfeld will act, direct, write, and produce the upcoming comedic film Unfrosted, the Pop-Tart story about the origins of the modest confectionery Pop-Tart. The film is based on a humorous anecdote told in a stand-up show and portrays the story of Kellogg's and Post's bitter rivalry. The cast the cast also includes Amy Schumer, Melissa McCarthy, and Hugh Grant. That's a wrap for this video. Would you like to know more about the upcoming Netflix original You People and its storyline? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.